The new room view feature in ProSelect 4 is one of the most dynamic selling options uh, that are available out there. So we've got a few different ways of actually getting our rooms into ProSelect. Now one of the things that I do is whenever I'm doing a family portrait, particularly if I'm doing it on location, I would always ask if I could take a look around the house, look at the different walls and things that are available, and actually uh, go in to be able to take some photographs uh, to photograph the walls. What I do is I always carry a yardstick with me in my uh, SUV so that I can take and I can put a size reference into there or have something that I can measure something because I need to have a known size to be able to properly scale the room. Well, if we shoot our room pictures right while we're out on a job, we can take and load them in as a part of our job. So as you can see right here, I've actually got a room that's um, included right in this particular pro select job. So what we can do to get that into our room view is we're going to go to our templates and I'm going to go to my setup rooms. Now, what we're going to do is I've got my library here, and then I've got my album. Well, what I can do is by clicking on the album, if you notice, I had this image already selected. So when I click the add button, or the album button, um, it automatically has it there. And I could uh, just simply from there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just click add. And now it shows the room as a part of my collection here. Well, we've got a couple different uh, floating icons here. First of all, this shows the position of where the image is going to actually appear on the wall. Now I've also got this small uh, ruler in here. and If you notice, we can take and I can stretch this thing out, I can spin it around, I can move it to wherever I want it to go. Well, in this case, in this particular room, I don't have something to scale to. I don't have a yardstick visible in the room there. So, But I know that the back of the sofa is 84 inches. So what I'm going to do is I can go here and I can align this up to the point that I measured there that I knew that was 84 inches. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type this and type in 84 inches. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to name our photograph lounge room and all we have to do is simply click save and we now have that uh, room is now going to be a part of pro select in this job so we can show those images on the wall we have another option for loading rooms into pro select and if we've got stock images on the system so I'm going to go to templates and once again we're going to go to set up rooms this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to load them from a library. So we're going to go ahead and click the add button and it gives us an image resource folder room views. Well we don't have any uh, image in there to choose from so we're actually going to import them in. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the room uh, images that we have out on our system. So we're going to go to our room views and we'll load the dining room and I'm going to go ahead and click open. Now you need to have Photoshop open in this process because it's actually Photoshop is running in the background and it's converting that image. Now you can see I've got a dining room image in here. Let's go ahead and we're going to take and let's add another image in here. So we're going to go ahead and we'll create the stone fireplace. You can see it processing in the background. We've got that. And let's go ahead and we're going to add one more. We'll add a vertical wall. Okay. This time our rooms are in good shape here. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to click select here and now we can start adjusting. Now with this one we're going to go ahead and position the image placement on the wall and then if you notice close up on here you're going to see there's actually a yardstick in here. This is the handiest way to be able to take and scale your photograph. So all that I need to do is simply take this ruler and just adjust it to the size of the yardstick. You can see I'm setting it right on that baseboard align it right to the top. In this case, since it's a yardstick, that means it's 36 inches. So we've got that set. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Let's go ahead and we're going to click, we're going to add another one. Let's add the stone fireplace. We'll select that one. Let's get the image up above the fireplace itself. And it's really hard to see, but there's actually a yardstick right there in that photograph. So let's flip that vertically. And we're going to scale it to the 36 inches. That looks good, 36 inches. Go ahead and save that one. And we're just going to add and calibrate our last one, which is our vertical wall. Got it there. We're going to put off the image right here on the wall. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can actually see that there is a yardstick sitting right on that baseboard right there. You go right to there, 
36 inches again and save. So now you can see how we've actually added three different rooms into our ProSelect.